Hello everyone. Welcome back to the video series of the object oriented programming with Java. Our today's topic for this particular video that is introduction about the input output stream and types of stream. I am your instructor Mr. Ankit Patel. So let's start the introduction about the stream. So first of all we need to understand where we can use a stream and how to use a stream. So whenever you want to just perform a program for the file input output we require a stream so stream for the stream type program we require a package one important package that is used in the file input output that is a java.io package is there so java.io package contain the rather a large number of classes that support the input and output operation suppose if you want to uh, get the data from the text file and you want to use it in a java program that you can easily use uh, use uh, that type of functionality with the use of this particular package so now stream can be considered as a sequence of byte traveling from source to destination that is all about the stream all the input and the output data transfer in java is happen through stream and there are the different types of source and destination such as the file is there, input device is there as well as the even a other program is also there. All these type of functionality like if you want to get the data from the other file and if you want to print the data onto the file, these type of functionality are means that can be uh, development in the using the stream. So let us discuss more about the stream that what are the different types of stream available in the java so the there are mainly two types of the stream is there by stream and character stream so let's just i am explain about the first of all what do you mean by the byte stream is there so here byte stream are representing the data in the form of the byte that means the program use a byte stream to perform the input and output operation of 8 bit byte all the byte stream class are derived from the input stream and output stream so there are the two main class available in the byte stream that is input stream and output stream and the one important point that we need to understand that is it supports 8 bit of the data that's why the byte stream is called as an one byte data so this support mostly all the keyboard later are supported in this suppose if you want to print the uh, any of the character from your keyboard to the file you can easily print but now next type that is a character stream but that support the 16 bit unicode so java character stream are used to perform the input and output for the 16 bit unicode that is a universal code and java store the character value using the unicode conversion and there are many class related to character stream but the most frequent to use class are the file reader and file writer so that means that these are the two subclass of the reader and writer class respectively so what is the difference between by stream and character stream here the character stream are uh, there are the more character support in this character stream class like if you are talking about the file reader and writer that it supports the more like if you want to print rupees symbol in a file you can print because that symbol is not available in the keyboard that symbol you can easily print suppose if you want to print the alpha beta sign into the file so that you can print it using the file reader and writer otherwise there is a no any type of difference if you are talking about the only the keyboard character that is available from special character is there different different alphabet is there if you want to print all the keyboard later onto the file you can use any of these two by either you can choose a byte stream or character stream but now the character that is not available in the keyboard like if you are talking about the alpha symbol beta symbol is there pi symbol is there our rupees symbol is there that type of symbol you will want to print it requires some universal code and that code is supported in the character stream so only that is the difference between these two otherwise normal file operation uh, program you can use either of these two so let's uh, I explain in detail uh, first of all the about the byte stream so here byte stream there are two main classes there the first one that is input stream so what about the input stream using the input stream you can read the data such as a byte and array of the byte from the input source and input source that can be a file is also there a string a memory or anything that data you can easily read 
same as an output stream if you want to print or if you want to write the data onto the file then you can use a output stream class see so that is a uh, familiar to the input stream that is used for writing a byte and array of byte to the output stream so these two are the main class in the byte stream class now all the subclass is available if you want to because these two are the abstract classes there so we know uh, we are not able to create the object of this particular class so we need to use the subclass of it so i am explain about the hierarchy of these first of all the input stream so here this is the hierarchy of the input stream is there right and these are the all right hand side all the subclass of the input stream like if you are talking about byte array input stream is there file input stream is there filter input stream is there five input stream is there object input stream is there and pushback input stream data but mostly we are using a file input stream class from the getting the uh, data to the file so same as uh, the hierarchy of output stream so here the output stream is our main abstract class is there and the right hand side these are all that are the subclass of the output stream class like file output stream is there filter output stream is there pipe output stream is there so these are the different different output stream class available in the java and these all are the type of these are all are the part of the byte stream class now if you are talking about the character stream so character stream have the mostly the two main classes there reader and writer again these two are the abstract class so suppose if you want to use uh, the character stream classes so you need to use a subclass of any of these two class so the subclass of these so first of all i am explain about the reader class so here the hierarchy of the reader class is available our reader class is abstract class and the writer side all are the subclass of the reader class if you are talking about the buffer reader is there character array reader is there filter reader is there file reader is there these all are the reader class subclass of the reader class and same as a hierarchy of the writer class so here the hierarchy of the writer writer class is abstract class and the right side is all are the subclass of the writer class these are the buffer reader is there and up to last one the file writer is there so all these are the subclass of these are so i will explain you a single program of the byte stream as well as a single program of the character stream so without wasting a so much time let's type uh, let's start the programming now in this session i will show you the example of the file input stream file output stream file reader and file writer so let's first create the example for the file input stream so what is the use of the file input stream so mostly we are it is using for reading purpose so let's create a one class uh, that is a demo in that particular class i am creating a main function public static void main is there and we are passing a string of argument so let's save this particular file using the demo.java now here i am creating the object of the file input stream but as i told you if you want to execute the file program then you need to import one package that is import java.io package is there dot i am writing the star or you can use a directly file input stream star that means it contain all these classes for this particular program or if you don't want to just write side so whatever the file you are using just write down the file input stream or you can use a star also so i am just writing down here a star now let's create the uh, object of file input stream that is a file input stream file input stream i am creating a object that is a fis that is equals to new file input stream and in argument you need to just pass the name of the file that you want to read okay so i have already created the a.txt file in that particular file i have written one message that is a hello ankit patel that i will show you uh, what i am written in that particular path so here the a.txt file content is there you can see i have written only hello ankit patel now 
this content i want to print i want to print in my command prompt so i have uh, just pass the file name now let's uh, just use the while loop here while integer i because we need to create a one integer variable because this method will return in the form of the byte so i am creating the integer i or you can directly use the i is equals to fi as dot read in bracket what is the value of i is equals to fi as dot read is not equals to minus 1 so minus 1 that represent the null value what this condition tell like here the fi as dot read if you are calling just only this method this will method will return in the form of the integer so now i am using a one integer variable is there i so i is equals to fi as dot read that not equals to minus 1 so it will read till the end of the file now i just want to print the system dot out dot print ln is there p print ln is there and i am just printing the value of i suppose if you are printing the i i am just converting into the character because it is in the form of the integer and finally which object you have created f i am closing that particular object so that this will return in this particular form so i have already saved this file so let's run it so we can check what will be the output first of all i am compiling this particular file demo.java then if this successfully compile this will generate one error what the type unreported exception io exception is there yes as i told you in the exception chapter also that whenever you are performing an input output form program you need to just handle the io exception is there so i am throw throws io exception or you can directly write down just exception so this is an check exception that's why we need to throw that particular exception now let's run it again first of all i am compiling that was successfully compile is then then i am run that particular program so this will print hello you can see hello ankit but i am using a here ln is there print ln means this will print in a new line so i am just write down system dot out dot print now you can see here i am once again i am compiling that particular file this will print hello ankit patel so this is a simple way how to read the data now same i just want to write the data using the file output stream so how to write the data so here you need to create the object for the file output stream i am just changing the name output stream file output stream same file i am opening and i am writing something different like hello uh, or welcome to java program right so i am just using a one string variable here string str that is equals to i am just writing which message you want to just uh, print it that welcome to java program okay now as i told you here the one write method is there you need to just write down fis fis dot write write method is there but you cannot write di direct like str because there is a no method that accept the string value it accept only the byte or the array of the byte so first of all we need to convert the string into the byte how it will convert we use one byte array one byte of array that is equals to right str dot get byte method is there get bytes so this will convert easily to the byte and we are writing just fis dot fis dot write what we are writing we are writing a b not str now let's compile it again so we can easily check so i am not printing the output on a command prompt 
I am just check if the program is successfully run. I will check the content of the a.txt file that is stored in my J drive. So now let's first compile this file. Is there any error? There will be no error. Then Java demo. This will not print any message on a command prompt. This is successfully run. Now let's check the file a file. Here the a.txt file is there. You can click on it. This message will print welcome to Java program. So you can easily write the file onto the uh, using the Java program or you can even read the file. Now here next that is the file reader class is there. Similarly file writer class is also there. So first of all I let's uh, I am explain about the file reader. So file reader that is almost I am just removing this particular code file reader fr that is equals to new file reader i am passing the same file a.txt now i am creating one integer variable i same while loop while i is equals to fr dot read method is well this method is also written in the form of the byte is not equals to minus 1 then this will simply print system dot out dot print ln I am just converting to the character of I and I am closing that particular file fr dot close so let's run this file again successfully compile if you run what the last uh, last content of the file welcome to java program so this will print the welcome to java program. again i am using a ln is there that's why the each and every character print in the new line so let's change it down and i am just using a only print so welcome to java program now again the last example that is a file writer is there so i am using this create the object of writer file writer and same I am writing over here I am just changing the mate file fr to fw is there and I am just deleting this line I am fw dot close now string str is equals to hello Ankit Patel so now here in a file writer class one write method is there and that write method write method accept the string so here no need to convert into the byte even it also access the byte of array but here it also ex ex uh, accept the string also so no need to convert it let's check it out first of all i am compiling that particular file fw dot close sorry here the file name is that is fr is there so i am using just only fr So let's compile first of all it and let's run this file. So there will be no any print because I have changed this name. So let's see the content of the a.txt. You can see hello Ankit Patel that you have written in this particular program. So this is the example of the file input stream, file output stream, file reader and file writer class. Hope you understand all these four programs. So this is the end of the programming session. So thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can feel free to ask me. Thank you very much.